Hello, welcome back to my channel, and today I want to introduce you my cats. This is Cora, and the black one missing a few too many brain cells is Sherlock. They are our rescue cats, and we have recently adopted Sherlock into the home. And I wanted to do a photo shoot for them, celebrating not only the fact that it's fall and my favorite season, but some nice photos to kind of welcome Sherlock into the family. So at first I just foraged around the like around the yard basically looking for leaves and plants and everything else stuff that as far as I knew wasn't poisonous to the cats. And then I put a table and a octobox in the living room basically and jankily set up a little bit of a bounce card just to fill in the shadows. So main light and bounce. Then if you've watched my previous video with Kit with long exposures on location, long exposure portrait I borrowed some beautiful props from Kit, who was our model in that video, and basically created this tiny little set that I hopefully I could get like some nice photos of. I am not great at set decoration, it's not really my superpower, but I did my best with the stuff and the skills and the props available to me. I thought the red berries at the front would be a nice way to kind of like bring the eyes towards the center. And then I basically bribed my cat with a whole bunch of cookies on the table. So Cora was up first as she's been photographed before and she's a little bit more familiar with the process. So at first what I do is I just stick cookies everywhere and I basically give her a week's worth of cookies in about 10 minutes. <laughs> it's kind of a lot but that's okay. And I basically hide them all over the place to try and get different expressions out of her and just to get her comfortable with the idea of sitting there is a good idea because there's delicious tasty snacks. My next secret weapon, if I want her to look at me, is basically a stick with feathers on it. It makes this flapping sound that cats really like, or at least Cora responds to most of the time, when she's not giving me this look of absolute condescension that cats are so good at. So basically I just wave it around, it has a little bell, it kind of makes her look at me. And I can usually get some cute photos out of her that way. Next up was Sherlock. He's a little bit more of a shy boy. He doesn't have as much experience in front of the camera as Cora. So we made a session really short. Same thing, I put treats and cookies everywhere for him, which he's not quite as food motivated as Cora, but for the right cookie, he'll do the job. I did the same thing, waving the stick around and things like that, and it little, a little bit confused him at first, which is fine, but eventually he got the memo and he did, he did good. He was a good boy. So after I was done doing these photos, I popped everything over into Photoshop and I added some textures, and then I did color grading with only the curious color actions, and these are the photos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and have an awesome fall season. Bye.